Hi, I'm Dr. Philip Macmillan, a physician in the United Kingdom focused on researching COVID-19. Over the past year, we have been focused on demonstrating autoimmunity in COVID-19. This is a principle that has been developed or demonstrated by researchers in different parts of the world, including John Hopkins. Our work is pointing out that autoimmunity or the immune system attacking itself is the significant part of the disease. So how could a strong immune system be a problem in COVID-19? The first thing you have to understand is that there are two phases of the disease. In the first phase, that's the viral phase. That's where the virus goes into the nose, replicates and spreads down into the lungs. The body then has to fight the virus to prevent it from continuing to spread. That's the viral phase of the disease. Having a strong immune system here is very valuable. However, at some point in this process, as the body tries to fight the virus, there is a trigger where the body starts to recognize itself as being foreign. That's the immune phase. And in the immune phase, the body then produces large amounts of inflammatory products, which cause even more damage to lungs and kidneys. And this immune phase is what causes the damage to the lungs that leads people to be on ventilators and eventually die. This immune phase can be managed to some degree by using steroids. And this is why the point is made that actually in the immune phase of the disease, having a strong immune system is counterproductive. There are many people who either through the use of immune suppressive drugs don't necessarily have severe COVID. Additionally, many older people who get the disease, who have very weak immune systems, also don't necessarily have severe disease. Conversely, when we think of some of the young people who have seemed very healthy get severe COVID and die with a strong immune system. This is important to be able to understand why we have different people affected in different ways with this viral infection. The more that we understand, the better we will be able to handle it. It is important to have a good immune system in the viral phase. But in the immune phase of the disease, that same strong immune system could damage the lungs even further. For more posts, podcasts, and videos, join us on Patreon, Making Sense of Medicine.